Hi, before we begin the video, I'd like to give a special shout out to Michael Clark. Congratulations on winning the contest. If you're interested in becoming a Pixie Pal, click the join button down below or the link in the description for more information. Alright, now let's begin the video. Hi. So it looks like we're sitting next to each other. Um, I think I'm just gonna go out there and say that I am so nervous of flying. So if you notice me breathing loudly or being anxious, I'm sorry in advance. Yes, I haven't flown and let's just say I avoid flying at all cost. I, I, uh, I'm aware. I, I try to remind myself that, that there are more accidents driving a car in a car than they are flying. But, I don't know, it's just something about being up in the air and on an airplane and not grounded that really makes me scared. Oh, thank you. Did they come by already? Asking for if we wanted any drinks. Oh, okay. If I start shaking, just, just ignore me. <laughs> or you can just tune me out. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm just, um, I'm hoping I can fall asleep. I feel like, though, once I get in the air, it's, um, it's not as, as scary <laughs> for me. Yeah. Oh, my name. Oh, forgive me. I'm sorry I didn't even introduce myself. I'm Pixie. I didn't catch that. Oh, Michael Clark? Oh. What a nice name you have, Michael Clark. It has, um, a ring to it. Michael Clark. I actually, um, I think of Clark Kent whenever I hear the name Clark. I guess I instantly get, um, Superman image in my head. <laughs> maybe you hear that, maybe you don't. <laughs> but I really like your name. You actually remind me of someone I can't quite put my finger on it. Do you have one of those, um, so what do they call them, the do doppelganger? Yeah, doppelganger. Do you have a celebrity or famous doppelganger people tell you? Oh. Huh. Well, you must remind me of somebody that I know. I'll, um, I'll let you get back to what you're doing. I know I'm rambling. It's the nervous habit. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna read my book over here, but happy that we met. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, Banksy. It's just, uh, a book about his art. It's actually the reason why I'm, I'm traveling. Oh no, I wish. I don't, I don't know him personally. I'm just a fan of his street art and that's, I'm going to England and Paris too. Um, I guess
guess that's what kind of what kind of um got me on this flight. <laughs> now I'm I'm traveling alone. What about yourself? Oh, I see. Sounds exciting. I mean, to be honest with you, I never travel, so. I guess when I was younger, I envisioned myself being more of a, a traveler. But as I've gotten older, things have just, um, life has passed and things have gone in the way. I haven't really had the opportunity do you travel a lot? Oh, I see. Why now? Hmm, that's a, that's a great question. Well, I recently lost someone. So, I guess it's one of those things that I always wanted to do. And I decided after losing someone very close to me that I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna push down my fears of flying and I am not gonna really think about anything and I'm just gonna go. I would have really liked to have gone with a friend or somebody but I know that if I waited my friends too, I mean, they're all busy and if I waited for any of my friends, I, I don't think I'd ever be here or go. Probably find excuses, so it's kind of a promise that I made to myself and to the person that was very close with me that is no longer here. Yeah. I have a long list up I have a long list on my bucket list and I don't I don't know if I'll I'll ever be able to get through it. But at least this is a start. What about you? Do you go to England often? I see. Oh, it's it's okay. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. It was a long time coming and they're no longer in pain. So I try to look at the positive and, and things. And as much as I would love to have my loved ones still here, I have to you know, selfishly. I wish I could still be here. I have to remember that they're no longer in pain and just kind of remind myself that when I get sad. Mm. And I know I'll see them again one day. <laughs> and I think they're probably here with me. <laughs> right now. But thank you for asking and thank you for your condolences. I appreciate it. I am um, I'm really looking forward to this trip. Now that I think of it, about it, I actually am um, I'm feeling a little bit more calm. <laughs> And, um, I don't know, maybe it's something about you that, that makes me calm. <laughs> Do you get told that? Ever? Oh, um, told that 
you have a calming aura, demeanor, vibe, however you want to say it. I just kind of feel all of my worries and stress starting to melt away here with you. So, thank you for that. I'm sure people tell you that you have that effect. You just seem very at ease and and I don't know, I just feel very calm right now. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it and now I'm kind of embarrassed. I have so many emotions right now because all these new things for me and and just uh, sitting here and knowing that I'm going to be on this long flight next to someone like you who's very calming and and sweet and thoughtful and helping me or distracting me from my fears right now. It, um, I feel very lucky to be on this fly with you, to say the least. Yeah, it's been a little, um, tough with the loss and right now I'm I was really worried today. I didn't think I was going to make the flight. And right now, I feel like you're here for a reason. And you were meant to be here for me. To comfort me, maybe. <laughs> so, thank you. So, are you from here? go out on a whim and say, well, maybe, maybe you're from England, I don't, I don't know, maybe you're from Europe, <laughs> although I can't really hear that accent. Oh, that makes sense. Are you going there for business or, or is this personal pleasure? Hmm. I see. Oh, that sounds nice. Well, um, I don't want to be too forward here, but you have really nice eyes. <laughs> I think that kind of calming me right now. I think outside of how comfortable you are right now here with me, I think you just have really nice comforting eyes. And you know, can I give you something? Yeah. I feel so silly and you probably think I'm crazy because my emotions are out of whack. I'm about to go all the way to Europe for the first time and be on a flight, which I haven't. I can't remember the last time I've flown and I feel bad because you're going to be on this really long flight with me and I want to give you something. <laughs> oh, I know. It's fine. You don't have to say that. <laughs> well, I, was, I was at the gift shop and... I mean, it doesn't look like you have one of these, but they had a, a two for one. And I figured I might as well buy another one. 
hoping maybe it will. The travel bug will bite me. <laughs> but I would like to give you this. It's one of those neck pillows for a flight. Just, I really like Michael Clark. <laughs> the name Michael Clark. So, 
So, what does your trip look like in England? Are you just going, are you traveling, hopping around throughout Europe or? Oh. I see. What do you do for work? Oh, that's really interesting. Do you normally meet people on flights? <laughs> oh, why do I ask? <laughs> well, I guess I'm kind of nosy. <laughs> but meeting someone on a flight, someone's company that you enjoy, I guess. I should say, but meeting someone on a flight, 31 or 30, however high we are, what is it, 31, 38,000 feet up in the sky, I don't know, it just seems kind of romantic, we're just in this area right here, confined, just you and I, nowhere to really go, it just seems really romantic to me, I feel like you can really get to know somebody, probably, especially on a flight as long as ours. Maybe it's just a fantasy or something, but or I read too many tabloids or too many novels. <laughs> so that was the the why you're feeling calm yourself. I know you're naturally calm, but I'm happy. That makes me happy to hear that. Do you mind if I like you have something right here? Right there. And then right there. I don't know, a little bit must have came off. So now we've done the mask wipe. The next step is this oil and do you mind if I put a little one? It's supposed to clear your sinuses and help you fall into a deep sleep. <laughs> so, you have your neck pillow on. I've given you the white mask. And now I'm just going to apply the oil. And they say that you're going to wake up and we're going to be landing and it's going to be the best sleep of your life. You have very nice skin. I didn't, I never thought no. Million years I would be on a flight with. Be so lucky to sit next to someone like you on a flight. It was meant to be. What hotel are you staying at in London? How many days are you there? No. 
I'm staying at the exact hotel. Wow. How many days are you there? That's kind of strange. What are the odds that I would meet someone as kind, calming, and amazing as you? With such amazing, beautiful eyes. On a flight to Europe. And we're staying at the same hotel. And I never travel. Seems like the universe is working its magic. and I 
was almost contemplating canceling it and and my friend literally came over helped me pack and I just came to the airport haven't looked back <laughs> so thank you Michael Clark thank you for being you and comforting me on this flight. I'll never forget this travel with you. Hi, I see you. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the very end. I really appreciate it. But before you leave, I'd like to give a special shout out to my pixie pals. They are Benjamin James, Armando, Derek, Tim, Michael D, Tyke, Aloy, John, Michael C, Nate, Rob, Videsh, Victor, Wyatt, Dylan, Derek J, David B, Caleb, Ninja, David, Samuel, JK135, and Z White. Thank you so much for your continued support on my channel. It truly means so much to me. If you're interested in becoming a Pixie Pal, some of the fun perks include custom-made videos featuring you as the main character, early access to videos, members-only content, member shoutouts, and more. Click the join button down below or the link in the description for more information. Well, I hope to see you on the inside of the Pixie Bell and in my next video.